To understand what decides the price of a dollar, let's first understand what decides the price of vegetables in our local market. So here's our market. Imagine that we get 3 lorries of tomatoes every day. And on average about 10 people buy tomatoes from the market every day. Based on the supply of tomatoes and the demand for the same, on that particular day the price is decided. So that day, 1 kg of tomatoes costs 50 rupees. The next day, a lot of tomatoes are harvested. So instead of 3, 4 lorries supply tomatoes to the market. Now we have the same 10 people, but a lot of tomatoes. Therefore we decrease the price. In other words, we have the same demand for an increased supply. Hence the prices decrease. The very next week, because of poor climate, we don't get the sufficient produce. So instead of 3 lorries, only 2 of them deliver. The same 10 people are stacked up in the market, but we don't have sufficient goods. So we increase the price. In other words, we have the same demand for a decreased supply. So the prices increase. Like supply, demand can equally affect prices. Suppose you get to know that tomatoes increase your IQ somehow. That day, a lot of people are waiting to buy tomatoes. But we only have the same three lorries, so we increase the prices. That is, we have a high demand for the same supply. A month later, you hear that tomatoes are causing a dangerous flu. In this case, the same five lorries arrived at the market. But there aren't many people who are willing to buy tomatoes. Hence, the prices decrease. That is, we have a low demand for the same supply. The foreign exchange in its bare bones has the same mechanics. Let me explain. The dollar in foreign exchange is equivalent to a tomato in a vegetable market. But who or what brings us the dollar to this market? There are a ton of different factors in real life. Let's look at some obvious ones. Tourism. When Americans visit our country, they have to exchange their dollars for rupees. Export. When we export goods from our country like spices or rice, dollars flow into our economy. Foreign investment. When Americans invest in real estate or tech industries, they have to purchase land or build their offices. For this, they need capital. Based on the demand for dollars and the abundance of the same, an exchange price is decided. Say, for time being, one dollar costs 70 rupees. Now, if the Indian government maintains an excellent infrastructure, more tourists visit India, so more dollars come into circulation. If your goods are of high quality, then more people tend to import your goods. And similarly, if Indian investment turns out to be fruitful, further investments occur, which again increases the number of dollars in your country. Note that the exchange prices have fallen. Why? Because there is a lot of supply for the same demand. Similar to the case in a vegetable market where we had 4 lorries delivering tomatoes for the same 10 people. Contrastingly, if our infrastructure is not well maintained, our goods are not being exported and the return on investment is not high. There is a shortage of dollars in reserve. Here, the exchange price has increased. Again, why? Because we have a shortage of supply for the same demand. Similar to the case where we had only two lorries delivering tomatoes for the same 10 people. So in conclusion, it's the supply and demand for the dollar that determines its exchange price. Of course, in real life, the foreign exchange is not as simple as I explained, but this is the crux of it. And finally, if you like the video, do consider subscribing. Thank you.